Hey guys, today for Coffee Date Thursday, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these yummy strawberry chocolate chip muffins for Valentine's Day breakfast. They are delicious, healthy, and a great play on chocolate covered strawberries. These muffins have pretty basic ingredients that you probably already have in your refrigerator and pantry. You're going to need strawberries. You can see here, I chose to use frozen strawberries. Since it is February, I find that these have a better taste now in the winter, but you could definitely use fresh. About one fourth cup of white chocolate chips. This is optional, but I love them. You need two eggs. You need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. One fourth teaspoon salt. One cup of Greek yogurt. And five tablespoons of unsalted butter. You will need two cups of all-purpose flour and two-thirds cup of sugar. You will need three-fourths cup of chocolate chips. I chose to use the mini chocolate chips. You could use regular chocolate chips. I just decided to make mini muffins this time around and these will work much better for that. You will need one-fourth teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. I chose to make mini muffins. This pan makes 48. I got it at Target, but the recipe will make about 12 regular size muffins. I'm going to start off by preheating your oven to 425 and either lining or spraying your muffin tin. I decided to line because I'm actually making these for Junior's class for their Valentine's Day breakfast, but um, just spraying the pan works great for muffins. And now we're gonna chop our strawberries. You wanna get about one cup of chopped strawberries, so you will see me here just chopping them into really small pieces since I'm making mini muffins. If I was making regular muffins, I could make the pieces a little bit bigger, but since they're mini and I wanna make sure every muffin has a good amount of strawberry in it, I am cutting them very small, but I'm still gonna make sure that I have a cup of strawberries. And now you want to just go ahead and combine your dry ingredients in a small bowl. This is the flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt. And then I just take a whisk and whisk it all together really quickly and set it aside. And now we will take our mixer. You could do this by hand too. And I'm going to take my softened unsalted butter and my sugar and I'm going to mix them together until they are fluffy. And then we will add our eggs in. I like to do one egg at a time. So I break them into a bowl and when one yolk falls in, I, can, I mix and while it's mixing, I pour the other one in. And then we're gonna add our vanilla in. And I let that mix until it's pretty smooth. And we are going to go ahead and stop the mixer and measure out one cup of Greek yogurt. And now we will start incorporating the Greek yogurt and the dry ingredients, alternating between the two just a little bit at a time and letting the mixer mix it up at a pretty quick speed until it's all incorporated. You will notice that this muffin mixture is pretty thick. I make it this thick because I know that the strawberries are gonna release some liquid as they're cooking. So I don't want it to be too moist because then they won't bake correctly. Now we're just gonna add in our strawberries. You can see I changed to the paddle on my mixer and we're just gonna add in the strawberries and the chocolate chips. Just mix them in really quickly and fill our muffin tins. For these mini muffins, I am using just a tablespoon. You wanna fill them up basically to the brim and not any higher. So if you're making regular muffins, just fill them up to the brim. You may have noticed that when I added in the chocolate chips, I didn't mix my white chocolate chips in. That's because for these mini muffins, since the white chocolate chips are regular size, I decided to just put one chocolate chip in each mini muffin and just push it down into the center. But you could definitely mix them in. 
So now we wanna go ahead and stick our muffins in the oven for five minutes at 425. And once your five minutes are over, you're gonna go ahead and turn your oven down to 350 and set them for about another 10 to 15 minutes. These mini muffins took 10 minutes to cook fully, but you just know when they're done when you check them with a toothpick and it comes out clean. And then you wanna let them cool a little bit and transfer them to a wire rack so that they can cool completely and enjoy. If you guys enjoyed seeing this recipe video, give me a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below if you try these out. Don't forget to check out all the other wonderful ladies doing this coffee date Thursday. Their links will be in the more info bar down below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.